Hey guys. Hey, um, things probably look super different for y'all. Um, if you didn't come to Saturday's stream, then one thing that you'll notice is I got affiliate. So we're going to talk more about that later. Um, but first you're, you'll notice also that the layout is totally different than what you would normally see on here. And the reason why is because I've got my friend Kendra with me here today and uh, she's going to do something special for us. Yo. So Kendra, do you want to introduce yourself? Yo, 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 what's up? I'm no, um, <laughs> sorry. That's my first go to and it has been since I was like 20. Hey, I'm okay with it. Because I think <clears throat> it's so like, oh my gosh, I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm Kendra. I'm I don't know. What am I? You're, I'm you're my here. friend. <laughs> Your yeah. You're my friend and we've role played together um for yes. for a while now. Like it's um we've role played together several times over the course of I don't know, a year, two years, something like that. Like it's been a minute. Yeah. It started with the the Disney one. Yeah. Yep. Forever ago. Yep, and you joined as Snow White. <laughs> yeah. My one true love. <clears throat> really. Don't don't let my husband do that part, but Okay, well, we won't tell him. Don't worry. <laughs> that's that's fine. <laughs> and um, be, I'm just watching the stream of all the pictures. I'm like, oh, a cute little animal. <gasps> yeah. Um, I'm loving this. <laughs> so because there's the two of us, right, and we only take up half the screen, um, we had to figure out something else to to show also on screen. So you can see a compilation of the, the pictures of my cat and dog and then also my roommate's cat. You guys see Queen all the time at the end of the, the spare room episodes, but uh, but this way you can see all the animals a little bit. <laughs> um, I love this. It's I'm just watching that. Like, oh, look at the little paw. Very happy. It's kind of mesmerizing, <laughs> right? <laughs> it is. I just love seeing animals happy. Yes, yes, Such for sure. Such a nice thing. And uh, and I, I I I do this one second every day. You'll see when the when the gif ends that it, that's what it's advertised as, and um and you can kind of basically yeah one second every day you can kind of like make these and uh, and it's so fun to like look back on a whole year of clips. But I just pulled all the clips that I liked of the animals um, to put this together. <laughs> I love this. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm so sweet. So, Kendra, can you also tell us? Um, we're not going to start quite start. We're not going to do it quite yet. But if you could also explain a little bit about um, about what you're here for today, what you're gonna what you're gonna do. I am going to stare into your eyeballs on screen, and look into your soul, and have this deck of cards tell me about what is happening inside your brain and in the stars for you so we're gonna learn all my secrets right those cards are gonna tell us all of my secrets reveal them to if the internet if you have any <laughs> i guess we'll find out right <laughs> maybe yes. you have some that are so secret i don't even know about them yeah you know it the cards might have a hot take they might they might it, you it never is. know <laughs> this right. is the deck that told somebody that their power comes from emotional trauma Ooh. So it's it's sassy. Okay. Well, you know, I mean, cats are kind of like that, right? So I understand. Yes. <laughs> um, oh my gosh. Hey, Landon. I'm so glad that Landon. you could join us. Uh, are, are you here today or are you in, are you in class like with us muted? Um, oh, Lar. Hey, I'm so glad you could join too. I thought you would be Earth. sleeping by now, <laughs> but I'm glad that you're not. So um, I'm so sorry that we're getting started late, guys. <clears throat> It is I, your number one stan. It's true. Landon's Twitter, as you guys know, is really just um, a stan account for me. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. That's yeah. That's fair. I mean, if I, I'm going to have yeah. one, it should be Landon, right? Like, that's how it yeah. is. That, that fits. <clears throat> All right. I'm so sorry. We had dinner. We had dinner late today. That's why we're getting started late. So I'm really sorry if, like, I clear my throat a lot or burp or something. My apologies. It might happen, just like it did a second ago. It might happen again. All right, but um, before we do actually get into some of the um, tarot stuff that we're going to do, I just wanted to very briefly talk about yesterday's episode of Spare Room, as I like to do on these Thursday streams, you know, kind of give you all a rundown. Um, I don't have too many, like, notes on this particular video, 
Um, it was a writing advice video. It was like a specific technique video. I, I came across this um, some time ago in kind of like my random readings because I'm always trying to learn new writing techniques and stuff like that. And, uh, and I thought it would be a really cool one to share for Halloween because it's something that you see in, in visual medium all the time, but you don't really see it a lot in writing. So I thought this was a really cool idea and, um, and, and wanted to share it. And then one, the main thing that I wanted to tell you guys on stream is that if you skipped this one because you thought that um, the video contained a jump scare, it doesn't. So, um, so don't be scared. There's no jump scare in it. I would never post a jump scare. Uh, without ample, ample warning. Um, it's, it, I don't think they're very funny. I know they're very shareable. I know they tend to go viral. And if I had included a jump scare in the video, it probably would have gotten shared a little bit more, but um, I'm not about that. So there is no jump scare in the video. If you skipped it because of that, it, it doesn't have one. It's really just talking about a specific writing technique that's kind of like doing a jump scare in a movie. Um, and that's that's all there really is to it. So you don't you don't have to be nervous. It's safe to watch if you're if you're uh, susceptible to jump scares. <laughs> if you're a scaredy cat like me, yes, <laughs> yes. I mean, I don't jump scares. They're cheap. They're cheap, right? So um, so I'm not like I'm not like super about them for the most part. All right. So that's that's what I really wanted to also say. Just a good way to scare. Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, they're cheap, I, but also like they work. It's true. And but I think they're more fun in real life. Like when I see a jump scare in a movie, it's kind of like, I don't know, it's like uh it, it's it's scary at first and and then I'm just kind of like over it like instantly. <laughs> oh, they make me really angry. Oh, really? I have like a visceral gut reaction of anger to jump scares. Oh, maybe that's why some people like really, really hate them so much. Because that's one of the things I see about jump scares all the time is like them listed as as content warnings and things like that. Because for some people, like it really gets their anxiety or whatever going oh, crazy. Yes. It, it will either be anxiety or paranoia that gets triggered usually. And yeah. it's awful. That sounds awful. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Um, not a fan. Yeah. Especially when they're spiders. <laughs> I don't mind. I, you know, I don't have the spider fear. I don't have the snake I, fear either. Like, yeah. I don't, you know, a lot of people have certain animal fears and, and yeah. somehow that never made its way to me. Like, that's not the type of thing that I'm, that I'm scared of. Now, that being said, like, a bug lands on me and surprises me. Like, I'm going to freak out and scream. But it's not that I'm scared yeah, of the I bug. So. It's I'm scared of something, like, just that touched me that I didn't <laughs> didn't realize you what You want was. the bug to ask for consent. Well, yeah, I would like, to, you know, to see it first so that I know what's <laughs> coming, you know? Uh, not just, like, appear yeah. out of nowhere and land on my arm. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> exactly. <clears throat> I don't know. Spiders are so small that they look like they will murder me, and I'm not about <laughs> it. That. I like living. Most of them can't, you know, most of them really can't. They can't do much. Super doesn't matter. <laughs> like, I know that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I have enough logic. I'm not, like, just like, the one brain cell that says, no, no, danger, danger, danger. <laughs> I mean, sometimes the lizard All brain's the activated Always. and you can't help it, right? It just kind of happens that way. Yes. If you've evolved past lizard brain, my <laughs> lizard brain is highly active. <laughs> well, I haven't evolved past it in other ways, but that's just one of the ways that I don't know. It just never, I'm, I'm sure that I was as a kid, but I just don't remember. I, I don't ever remember having that. Um, and I guess it never got instilled in me. I don't know. I mean, my daughter loves spiders so very much. I, I love that she loves spiders. I really do. I think that's so adorable. She loves to feed them and watch them eat the bugs. Oh so, like, I, I don't know if it's something that you're taught or what, but it just, it's just weird. Well, that is true. I mean, I do appreciate whenever the spiders eat the mosquitoes. Like, they can stay and do that all day long. I'm here That's for that. Great. Buff mosquitoes. I don't want to see it. <laughs> spiders? Fair. Outside? Fine. You do you? I don't want to look at you. I don't want to see you. I mean, fair. I understand. <laughs> All right, yeah. let's move on. Let's move on from the jump scares. Um, Kendra has prepared for us a couple of different spreads that we're that we're going to do. Um, but I don't know which one do you want to start with. I think I think we should start off small. So let's go with the the one that we're doing for Queenie. Okay, so I'm gonna just put a graphic of that up here so y'all can see. 
um, what this spread is about. And uh, and from there, uh, Kendra, take it away. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Reveal so, to me about my cat. Reveal to you about your cat. Well, if you have a yes or no question, well, we'll get the little pendulum out. And okay. That. Uh, you're not an energy drain, so I'm not putting my bandana on. No, I hope not. This is just no, for fun. Gosh, no. This isn't. This, this is isn't... just for fun. Yeah. It, I'm just really susceptible to uh, energy vampires. Oh, I understand. Basically, where you have like a grumble growl in you. Oh, no. I try and my best just, not to do ugh. that. Yeah, no, I don't pick that up on that with you. So, what I want you to do is think about your kitty cat. Okay. Form her in your brain very, very hard. Okay. And then tell me when to stop. Okay. I'm going to visualize the queen. Visualize. Yes. Visualize, visualize the, queen the queen. Coming into my bedroom at two in the morning, meowing oh, all the Lord. way until she gets to my face, begging for pets. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to visualize. Just so she can. I'm going to visualize Queen asking for treats after dinner. I'm going to visualize Queen oh. staring out the window at all of the, the bugs and the birds outside. Okay. Oh, does she chirp? Uh, no, she meows. She does not chirp. Ash is the chirper. Oh. Queen meows at everything. She doesn't know how to do really any other sound except for meowing and purring. And, um, but she loves, and she's not really much of an attack cat, but she loves to like watch the animals, right? Yes. And the other thing that's really big with Queen is she loves belly rubs and hugs, which I know sounds insane, but it's true. Nope. I've got a cat like that. <laughs> it makes sense. Yeah. So she, <laughs> she's definitely like that. Okay. So I think I've got, so you can go ahead and stop. I think I've got a good, a good formation of Queen in my uh mind. Okay, you've got the formation of queen, yes. and I'm going to start dropping the cards, and when you feel the need to say stop, you tell me stop. Okay. This is basically where you would cut the deck. If you oh, okay, okay, so we're going to cut the yep. deck. Okay, got it. Yes. Ready, set, go. Okay, stop. Okay. Ta-da! Landon, you're so sweet. I agree, though. You do. You have, you have a very nice sounding <laughs> voice. <clears throat> well, thank you. We've got our first card. Hey, Lunar. Second card. You were here just in Lunar. time. We're starting the first spread. Yes. Let's make sure that it all gets in screen. Yep. And y'all can see y'all can see the thing. reference image over on the top corner right there, um, so that you can kind of see what we're doing at any point if you forget. Yes. Oh, okay. So this first one will be what Queenie thinks about you. Okay. Second is what about you pisses her off. Okay. <laughs> Tios her off. I'm not. You're good. You can curse. It's fine. Are we allowed that language on stream? Yes, you can curse. I don't this care. This is how can you bond more? And okay. it's tentacles. So more uh, treats basically is going to be that one <laughs> and then uh what can i do to bring more joy into my cat's life and that is some comfort <laughs> tell oh. you that anything comfortable okay okay so first we've got oh man i need glasses so bad <laughs> we've got uh me seven of cups Okay, so what was that and first? That. What was that first one again? That first one is what does your cat think of you? Okay, so she thinks seven and of cups. Yes. So how the minor arcana works is cups represent water, so more emotions, more things like that. Landon, please. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if the rules are different for you. <laughs> Uh, which reversed basically means that she thinks that you are somehow, which I don't get how your cat gets this because I don't get this from you, but that you have a lot of extreme emotions. Oh. Which is, I don't know, maybe you do. 
maybe it's all your hot takes that you walk around the house saying <laughs> just all the time, no filter. Oh, well, you know, I mean, when I am having an extreme emotion, I have to say there's really only two people I go to. One of them's my husband and the other one is Queen. Like because that she is a be. cat that tolerates hugs. So yes. um so I don't know, I can kind of see it. I can kind of see it. She she is one of my two go-tos. So which having the king of cups also reversed as what pisses her off about you is i don't know just funny to me because it's in the same domain and now um okay so it feels like uh when you don't set realistic expectations for your emotional health having that overwhelm you is something that she's tired of seeing in you oh. where she goes okay you just need to chill it's okay i feel like i'm a Stop very perceptive it. kitty cat <laughs> this is the kind of thing I, she's thinking well you know i'm sure she yeah, she's been with you for a long time we've had Pick it for about up. four years now i think it is okay she's been with you for a long time for mm -hmm. a cat especially Okay, how do you bond more with her? Pentacles treats. Treats. Treat, 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 treat. I'm laughing because it's so true. It's so, it treats, like it's. Anyway, do you have to give the full explanation? But like, I, yes, this, this particular one, I'm like, all, yes, the cards are right. I, Pentacles. Uh, represents earth so basically if you're into astrology or numerology you've got a head start on tarot pentacles are so it deals with material uh in this deck it's represented by tree and <laughs> so how you can bond with queen more is to uh take a step back from your ambition and to Spend a little more time in your home community, which I know, quarantine's funny. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's kind of already happening. She's getting what she but wants then. <laughs> she's getting what she wants. She just wants you around more. <laughs> like any child. She just wants you there. It's she so just wants you to spend time with her. It's so funny that you say that you say that because the times that she, like, asks for attention, it's always while I'm working or while yep. I'm sleeping, right? So the two times that I kind of can't stop and give her attention, that's that's oh, yeah. when she asks for it, right? So this is this is like right in line. Like it's really it's right in line. Have you seen the meme going around about giving the cat a little laptop? No, tell me. Okay. So there's this thing especially on TikTok where cats get on your work, in your book, wherever, when they want to show their affection for you. Yes. So they want to take part in whatever it is you're doing. So if you're, um, my grandma-in-law reads a lot and my cat will go sit on her book. I've started mm -hmm. leaving a book open in grandma's lap. And instead of going and sitting in the book Grandma's reading, she'll go and sit on the other one with her little paws just on it like she's reading. Like she's a fancy, fancy reedy girl. Oh, that's so cute. It's amazing. So that's I don't know, so maybe cute. get a second laptop for your cat. <laughs> maybe. So, so Queen's funny that way because she's so vocal and so big with her like meowing. She doesn't actually go and yes. like lay on whatever you're doing. She she's so good at meowing like she's never had to do that. So she she literally oh. like just gets in your face and just like meow 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 meow. You know like really loud, right? Um, yes. So so yep. that so so <laughs> but maybe she's trying to communicate with me the same thing that she that she wants to do whatever it is that I'm doing on the computer, right? Yeah. Um, she, she just, just doesn't do it by laying on it. Yeah. Yeah. Try leaving like a book open or something. Okay. Okay. 
I, I hear you, Queen. I hear you. I'll see what we can do about that. <laughs> <laughs> Just something to make them feel included. They do. It's... My my cat, so what Lars, what Lars said, cats like to mirror behavior. Yeah, my cat absolutely mirrors the behavior that she sees. Like, her favorite games are, are, are the games that we like to play with her, too. Like, she, she 100% does all that kind of stuff. And it's so sweet. Mm-hmm. Okay, now this last card. What can you do to bring more joy to your embroidery scissors? Oh, no. What? Sorry, I just saw in the chat <laughs> saying that the embroidery scissors <gasps> get stolen. And I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that is not the thing to steal, Kitty. Oh, my God, you're going to hurt yourself. <laughs> oh, like, I'm just sitting here going, oh, no. <laughs> no. Ah. <laughs> Cats are basically three-year-olds. Maybe, maybe your kitty cat needs like some plastic embroidery scissors. You know, like the safety round scissors that you give to to kids. Um, maybe yeah. you can get her a pair of those. <laughs> yeah, Crayola has some plastic ones. Yeah, there you go. That will only cut construction paper. Perfect. Great. I mean, a cat doesn't okay. need to cut anything anyway, so. <laughs> I mean, you know, a cat doesn't need scissors but boy if you have scissors they're taking them <laughs> okay so the chariot okay is basically more comfort she wants some fun fun sitting spots she you know just wants to be comfy and lounge and look and be in charge but the only way that i can see this card making sense there is more cool places to sit yeah, we do need to get them a new cat tree. So they, they have a really nice cat tree. But of course, you know, if you've owned cats, they tear it up eventually. So every um, two or three yes. years or so, you have to buy a new one. Uh, it's just, you know, yeah. that's how it is. But that's what it's there for. It's their piece of furniture that they can tear up so that they tear up ours less. It's so nice. <laughs> and it's so funny. Like, we literally just, like, two days ago, we, we were looking at the cat tree. And, um, and my husband goes, we need, to buy, we need to buy them a new cat tree. Like, this thing is getting destroyed. Um and I agree, we do for sure. So, uh, so maybe, so maybe that's what it is. Maybe Queen has noticed it's about time for a new cat tree. <laughs> that could very well be it. Yeah, because it is like they, you know, because it's got scratching posts on it, and they've like torn chunks off of some of the scratching post areas. Yeah, I'm looking at one of the cat trees that we've got, and it's just got like all the little carpety strings hanging mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, it's time. Mm -hmm. It's time. That's kind of how ours looks right now. Yeah. So yeah, so, I like that. that. That was a good one. Um, oh, thank you. Yeah. But that's the chariot. This card says buy new, buy new cat furniture. <gasps> I love uh, these cards, uh, by the way. They are so, so cute. Like, oh my this God. This deck is precious and I love it so very much. Yeah. So, so before um, we do the next one, I have some, I have some questions. So you said like, the cups is Please, like yes. the cups is like water, right? And then the pentacles yes. is like your earth. So then, which yes. suit is fire and which suit is air? Uh, fire is wands. Okay. And air is swords. Okay. I get those two mixed up all the time because it, to me, doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense to me either. But fire, I think, like passion. I think, like yeah. you know, violence. <laughs> um i Which know things like you would that think would be sword yeah but it is wand okay which in this deck let me see if i can find one real quick okay so in this deck it's represented by toys mm. and the oh did, did i just see one yes and then swords in this deck are represented by teeth mm or claws so it's more you know air stuff mm. which i'm just even like in astrology i'm not super into air signs oh <laughs> which you don't like the smarty pants uh no somehow i know it's really weird <laughs> that me myself not super into smarty pants <laughs> but <laughs> It is more personal intellect, so it makes sense, I guess, that it would be something connected to the cat's body versus something exterior. Oh, yeah, I guess so. 
Um, I, I miss I miss this because it didn't make the sound. Um, thank you so much, Lunar, for for the bits. I want to see if I can get that to replay again. There we go. It's not making the sound for some reason. There's supposed to be a sound. I'm so sorry. Oh. But thank you. I I got a new you. um I got a new thing. So I love oh. this. Thank you. I'll have to go fix the sound. I don't know oh. why why the sound's uh not doing. Let me. I wonder. If, let me just t test this. Yeah, I tested an other another follow. Um, yeah, it's not it's not. Oh, Lunar can hear the sound. Oh, you heard it. Oh, okay. For some reason, I can't hear it. I don't know why. But if y'all can hear it, then cool. <laughs> but thank you so much for the bits. Yeah, um, I don't. <laughs> that's very cool. Technology's weird. Yeah, I don't know. I'm sure there's a way to fix it. I just don't know how yet. I'll figure that out later. That's tomorrow, Karen's problem. <clears throat> yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Tonight is fun time. Yes. Um, fun okay. time. Okay, so I guess that makes it make a little bit more sense. Um, and I know you shared this with me with me before, um, so this isn't like brand new information, but it was literally just the other day. And I think I told you, like, I wish the first time that I got into tarot, someone had explained that to me because it, I, when I got into it, I guess the way that it was explained to me, the books that I read, I don't know, but I couldn't grasp it. I couldn't grasp it, even though I had no problem grasping like astrology stuff. But for some reason, I couldn't grasp the tarot stuff. But if it had been explained to me like that, then it's like, oh, duh. Like, because I already know how and, the Zodiac stuff works. Right. I think that this is the cat tarot is such a nice, sweet thing. I mm -hmm. don't think that I would be as into it if I got like a traditional deck. Yeah. Just because that to me, all of the books and things regarding that weren't as I don't know like beginner friendly as this one is mm. it honestly like they'll go on and on and on this one has uh just a quick little intro that's one page very tiny print but then it goes through you know the different suits and just gives a quick little boof on hey here are things associated with this suit oh and then that's it. Done. Got Period. It. Move on. It doesn't take 40 pages to explain. Yeah. It's just in very teeny tiny print. <laughs> so you got to put on your glasses to read it, right? <laughs> I mean, you know, if I had glasses. <laughs> <laughs> I would have to bust out mine. I don't like, have very much of a prescription, but I, I have a little bit of one. So, but I'd have to bust that out, oh, I think, man. to read that thing. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely one that I've got close to my face. Like, okay, wait, hold on. <laughs> Because I am referencing it. I am checking it. Yeah. It's something that when you first start out, I think one person that I had read used their book for 10 years of regularly doing readings before they felt confident enough to do a reading without it. Wow. And it's like, it's just follow your gut. If you need to use the book, use the book. It's fine. Mm -hmm. That's why we it. I mean, I definitely still use reference material when I do like um, astrology stuff, even though I've been into it for years and years and years. And there's a lot that, yeah. I, that I do inherently know about it. But like, sometimes there's just certain signs that like you don't tend to make friends with. And so you don't see them very come up very often. So you like forget <laughs> stuff about them, you know? Yeah. Um, so, so yeah, I can I can definitely feel that. Um, but yeah, thank you. That that explanation does help quite a lot. Okay, it's so much fun <laughs> so that was our cat spread um which that one do we cat intro yes very it was okay. good that was so good which one do we want to do next do we want to do the possible secret secret spread or do you want to save finding your deep dark secrets for last let's i feel like Okay, I feel like the, peop the people that I kind of expected to log on tonight and hang out with us are probably here. Let's go ahead and do, yes. let's go ahead and do the deep dark secrets one and then we'll end on a okay. more chill one. Okay, cool. so here cool. we go. Okay. This is our next spread for spooky, spooky Halloween month. Um, let's see how it goes. <laughs> yeah, it'll be fun. This is the spooky spread. Mm. Uh-huh. So let's just get super into your head your essence think okay. about what makes you you well that's hard and as you think about that what, right <clears throat> i know i'm gonna put you on the spot you don't have to say it out loud okay 
It's hard for just a role like player, though. I have to vibes. say, I have to say, somebody that spends a lot of time <laughs> pretending to be other people, it's, it's, it's right? I find it especially difficult. <laughs> it, that I think is why I have such a hard time introducing myself. Mm, yeah, it's, it's like, well, who am I in this situation? I'm not. I don't know. Yeah, it's like I don't know yet. Okay. I just met you, people. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know who I want to be because I can be anything I want. Exactly. Okay. Easy peasy. Well, I'll try to. I'll try to okay. think about. I'll try to think about like my essence of what what things are generally the same. Okay. Okay. Now we're gonna cut the cards again. All right. Ready. Set. Stop. Perfect. This is such okay. a creative way to cut cut the cards while um while doing this on like a, a like an online thing. I would have never thought of this. I, I'd have been like, I don't know how to cut the cards. Sorry, we're not going to cut them. <laughs> well, <laughs> I have um, been spread around on my mom's family phone tree as like, oh, hey, call Kendra for fun tarot card party tricks. <gasps> oh, my gosh. So, which is why I've gotten very good at like, okay, I need to wear a bandana or something. Mm -hmm. It's just, just the weirdest thing. But for people who are super sensitive to other people's moods, mm -hmm. it can help a lot. Weird trick I picked up from this. Okay. Interesting. All right. Okay, so yeah, we're thinking so of my, my essence. Anyone out here? I'm trying to make sure that these all stay in frame. Didn't think about that when I was linking these to you. Oh, that's okay. Four, five, and six. Woohoo! Okay. okay, I'm ready. Number one. What is haunting you? Material. Number two. Oh. I'm squinting to read the thing. What is it you need to let through, look through? What? Oh, what windows you need to look through? Number three. What doors you need to open? Justice. Oh. <laughs> what cobwebs do you need to clean all right good good what what you need to... what you need to banish okay interesting so okay. just before I pick up the book, before I look, whatever it is that's haunting you has something to do with um, material possessions. Okay. Uh, chances are probably just knowing what's going on right now has something to do with the everything. <laughs> oh my that's god, yeah. Fair. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> that's fair because everything's uncertain and it's like, oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Uh but then the other interesting thing is at the very end, what you need to banish is also a material card. Hmm. That's just, you know, whatever. Okay. Uh, oh, might have a visitor soon. I don't Ooh. know. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, boy. For y'all that, get... that don't know, Kendra's a mom. So, um, so if we, if we have to, to pause the, the tarot reading for a minute, that's okay. Or if we need to... You know, if this if we can't do the third one, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, you might see a little hand come and steal something. <laughs> that's okay. Uh, yeah, you know, it's fine. We'll make it work. As long as she doesn't bend them, we're good. She can take my book. Okay. So, what is haunting you? Let's see. How does this make sense? Oh, okay. What is haunting you seems to be a lack of self-care. Oh. A lack of, um, a lack of boundaries. Okay. And which, again, to me, talking with you and knowing you seems like a strange thing to say to you it is a little bit um so i'm not quite sure what what that means exactly uh, um but i can say that uh that something that i have realized which is 
This is sad to say because COVID has been awful for pretty much everybody and the whole planet and the whole human population. But the truth is, I'm thriving. Um, I'm doing better than I've ever done. My mental state is is in really good shape um, because we're not going out. It might not be referencing your mental state. I'm in good financial shape. Um, Like... uh, yeah. Oh, hey, Mochi. So glad to um, have you join hey. us. Yeah. So I'm not sure. I can't really think of anything that would I, that would have to do with financially. Yeah. Like financially, it, we're we're this we're, card we're fine. can come to be a little. Um, it can come off as greedy almost. Mm. So maybe I don't know because you don't seem like that. Yeah, I don't you know. You don't come off across as that. Yeah, I don't it's know. Just, you know, one of those things. Like, huh? Weird. Yeah, um something I'll have to think put some, about you. Maybe yeah, I'll have to put some thought somewhere. into that. I'll have to put some thought into that cuz I don't I don't know. I don't know what that would what that would mean. I mean the the what the only thing that I can think of that's like material wise that's kind of frustrating right now is um is we do have uh, a a leak on one side of the house that we need to get fixed. Mm-hmm. Um and that's going to be pretty expensive. Yeah. So of course we haven't done it yet. <laughs> <laughs> because those things there take time, go. you know. But that's the only thing those I can think of. Those things take time, and you have to budget for. Yeah, it's, it's just you know, it's supposed to be haunting you. It's not supposed to be super obvious right off the bat. Yeah, I mean, I don't spend a lot of time thinking about it because until you have the money to go do it, there's nothing you can do about it. So I just don't think about it, you know. And yeah, then when it when exactly. it rains, we clean up the water, and then you know, that's all you can do right now. <clears throat> You know, just super chill. Yeah. So maybe it, it maybe is that what it is. Unfortunately, it's yeah. just you know. Well, like I said, because I'm doing I'm doing very I'm doing very well right now. So you know, maybe there's just there's just not a lot, and that's that's the best thing the cards could come up with. That that too. Yeah. Okay. So the window you need to look through is the Emperor reversed. Who does he have a crown on his I head? Love- he does have the cone oh on his my head. God. That's I, what I love thought. these cards <laughs> so much. It's the so artwork cute. on them is amazing. They're just precious. And that cat looks a lot like my childhood cat. Oh, <laughs> so that looks so really sweet. cute. <laughs> <laughs> so the Emperor Reverse represents what windows you need to look through. So in this haunted house of your life, Emperor Reversed has to do with flexibility and not taking yourself and your situation too seriously mm. to remember like things are flexible things move mm. well, i don't know start doing some yoga i don't i think that's always a Who good knows? Le- oh, that's always a good lesson and um and i can definitely see why the why the cards would say that for me um because a lot of yeah. what i what i have to do at work takes a lot of collaboration and some people are mm. easier to collaborate with than others would we'll just say that yes <laughs> that is very true um so that is you know, a really nice way of saying that <laughs> well just... you know you know it, when because what i do I, I build trainings right like that's what i do at work yeah. and so if you're in the training field you you know you work with subject matter experts smes it's sme is what we usually call them and um you know, some some SMEs are, are wonderful and some, you know, <laughs> some not so much. <laughs> so uh, so I, yeah, I, I, I wonder um, I, when I think about that, that's that's kind of that's kind of what what I think about, because we've got a certain project that we're working on right now where we almost have too many cooks in the kitchen. Some people got invited to be subject matter experts that I didn't invite, like they got, you know, forwarded. Ooh. And uh, and it's, there's not that anyone's doing anything wrong necessarily. It's just that uh, there's a lot, there's a lot of cooks in the kitchen on this one. <laughs> and that can be hard. <laughs> yeah, for sure. That can be very hard. Um, very interesting as it relates to justice. Here, just real quick, this, I have a cat that looks exactly like this right now oh he's always oh, biting ah. yes <laughs> you shouldn't have rubbed the belly no no <laughs> the description for this card is just because the hand feeds you doesn't mean it doesn't deserve an occasional nip <laughs> all right good oh yeah. that's real yeah Let, let's yep mm-hmm. you're right you're right but this is not reversed and upright actions have consequences 
So what doors you need to open might be, and especially jumping off of the flexibility in your work life, uh, actions have consequences. Mm. Every effect has an effect, basically. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know Uh, feedback I get from my boss pretty often is to (laughs) be a little bit more um, assertive with some of the subject matter experts. Like if I think that their idea is not good or that we shouldn't do something that they really want, then um, I need to learn to be more okay with telling them this is actually not a good idea. I understand that you want it, but this isn't, this is not a a need to know thing for the training. So that's that's specific feedback that I got very recently. There we go. Yeah. Play by those rules. Fairness will prevail. Yeah. Things have consequences. Open those doors. It is okay. Natural order of the world is well, to be more assertive. I mean, my, my boss told me it recently. The cards are telling me that too. So it, maybe it's true. <laughs> maybe it's time to just take a look. Maybe. <clears throat> just take a look. Okay. And now you're on to card number four, which is what cobwebs do you need to clean? There is... Just off the top of my head, cups, something emotional is going to happen. This is where we're going to learn the deep, dark secret. Oh. Ah. Uh, he. Something. Okay. Mm-hmm. Don't ignore potential problems is usually something this card comes up with. Okay. So mm-hmm. whatever the cobwebs are, you need to handle them. Instead of letting them pile up like dirty dishes in the sink. I feel like the cards are telling me, Karen, don't let it go. You know, sometimes that, you know, you should just let it go, (laughs) let it go. I I feel like they're telling me, don't let it go. Like, if you know something's not right, don't let it go. If that's very, and temperance is reversed. So probably, yeah, don't let it go. You got to follow your gut. Oh, that's scary. I don't know about this. I don't know about this. I don't, I'm not, I don't, I don't know about this. I'm not, I'm not into this anymore, Kendra. Reverse, reverse. We're, I'm very good at letting uh, it go. i saying the safe word. I'm very good. The safe word. We didn't make a Say safe word. Say banana and we'll stop. <laughs> oh no. We didn't make a safe word. <laughs> ah. We still have. Yeah, I don't know. I'm very good at letting it go. I'm very good at letting it go. But I feel yeah. like the cards are telling me I need to not let so much stuff go. It mm. might be time to put your foot down and mm. do what you know in your heart of hearts that you need to do. I don't like this. Even this if it's hard. This is uncomfortable. Even if it's hard. Yeah, I don't well. like this. I don't like this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. Okay. Let's keep going. Let's finish. Yeah. We only, we only got... <laughs> temperance. Okay. Come to me, temperance. And what is this position? What is this spot? Reversed. This is for what you need to cleanse. Okay, what I need to cleanse. Karen? Hmm? Do you feel balance in your Hmm. life? That's hard to say. That's hard to say. Mm -hmm. Things are definitely off balance. Um... You uh-huh. know, and I, I feel like that's definitely due due to everything going on in the world right now. Yes. Uh, you know, I've kind of had to create the spaces that would normally exist out in the world inside the house, right? Like this space that we're using right here used to be just for videos and streaming, right? And now it is also yeah. for my day job, work, uh, when that used to happen in the office, and uh and although it's not necessarily like a problem for me i can't really claim that it's balanced i would like to have a separate work for work spot versus you know work on hobbies spot but i don't have that right now so remember not letting things pile up mhm 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 <laughs> This is to, hey, just check in. Where's your balance? Yeah. You, you are off balance. There is something that's not right. 
So there's something regarding balance that you'll need to cleanse. Okay. I don't know. Get to get a candle going in that room, maybe. Maybe. Something. I need to. Maybe I need to rearrange some things so that it's a little more clear about when I'm doing like work, work, and when I'm doing like hobby work. That I think probably will be very helpful. Yeah, I think that would. I think that would help. Oh, sure. I'm sorry, Luna. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god my anxiety don't be anxious oh my gosh this is just for fun y'all this is just for fun like, this even is if, um even if i look like example. i'm taking it yeah even if i look like i'm taking it seriously like it's it really is just for fun like this isn't this isn't a big deal <laughs> uh, it is a very good example of pausing for dramatic effect mm. though like we covered <laughs> like we i say we as in if i had anything to do with that video <laughs> like you covered in your video yesterday Did I? oh oh my yeah. god so i make the Tension. videos like i make the videos like a month in advance so sometimes i forget the specifics of what i say in a video so i totally forgot that i said that <laughs> oh my goodness okay. okay last one what you need to banish this card in this position, pentacles. So again, another material thing. When something good comes at you, don't bite the hand that's bringing it towards you, basically. If there's something good going on, there might be a tendency to say, eh, is this too good? Mm. I don't trust this good thing. Mm. Mm -hmm. Which I know for some of us is very hard not to do. Yeah, that is really difficult. This is difficult. saying don't do that. Yeah, I really think that goes back to the, the state of the world right now. Like I said, that I've been really thriving in a lot of ways um, while the rest yes. of the world is suffering. And uh, and I do experience a lot of guilt about expressing that. Because um, mm -hmm. it's not right. It's not fair, you know, with everything going on for me to say like, yeah. well, actually, I'm doing amazing with my finances and at work and in my, you know, relationships. And, you know, like that's not... That's not right when a lot of other people's lives are falling apart, but it's true. Yeah, you, you've you been lucky. Yes, I've been very lucky. Yeah, very lucky. And it's okay to acknowledge that. There's that hesitation, that, you know, in, that knee-jerk reaction to pull away. Yeah. When something good is happening. Mm -hmm. And in this spot, being a banishing card, stop it. Okay. It's okay to be okay. I really feel like, I really feel like <laughs> this spread that we just did is like the tarot version of literally like the last performance review conversation I had with my boss. Like I'm not like, oh my God. I'm like, I'm like a believer like this, like I was never, I've never been that into tarot. So this is the first time that I've really like yeah. had someone do like a real one for me that kind of knew what they were doing. Right. Um, and I, you just made me a believer, like for real, yeah. like I'm. Yeah. It yeah, um, the cards know. Like, they know. The, they know. They know what's up. Yeah. Part of it is also, like, well, suspending the disbelief. Yeah. Oh, she heard me. Oh. <laughs> so sorry. In the background, if anyone hears a I can demonic hear. mama. Okay. Good. I can hear yeah, her. That's... She's being really nice about it right now. Uh, yeah, it a couple is. weeks ago, it was actual demonic sounding. Oh, gosh. No, it just sounds yeah. like she's having fun in the background. Yeah, okay, good. She's upstairs. Yeah. She's got a happy meal. She's good. I'm not, oh, good. like, she's supervised. <laughs> I should say. She is supervised. Oh, good. That's good. I'm just... In the... No, I, I left my three-year-old alone on a separate level. <laughs> no. Don't give her any embroidery scissors. But that's that's only Karen's secret. <sighs> no, she does you know... like to steal mine, though. <laughs> she would, right? Just like if you're using them. She, she does. <clears throat> This is Even so interesting. Like, this is so interesting. I, I feel like when it comes to this type of stuff, like, I, I, I have this, like, of two minds, right? Like, on one hand, like, and the same thing with astrology, like, I don't really, like, believe that, like, a card can tell you anything, not, like, in a factual sense. But at the yeah. same time, like, I can't deny that these types of exercises and these types of analyses, whatever, I put too many sisses on those, but whatever. Um, analyses? They, yeah, analyses. That's what I was looking for. Um, no. They they do open you up to thinking about this stuff in ways that I, that I believe are truly helpful and truly enlightening. 
it they can be a nice vehicle with which you explore aspects of yourself or your brain mm-hmm. or the world around you that you want it usually yeah think about or in ways you want to usually think about yeah real, exactly real quick since it keeps coming up i keep seeing while i'm shuffling uh the lovers <gasps> so everybody oh, just needs to see so this cute look at those they're just they're just happy fat cats in the sun they're so cuddly oh i love this <laughs> how cute <clears throat> yes so there's those cats yep um the other thing we were talking about was using uh, tarot cards as a means uh, for role play. Yeah, tell Coming us about with that. With characters or storylines, it this is not my idea. I would have to go through my Twitter likes and find it. But somewhere out there, there is a deck that is specifically for uh, building characters, but you it's a tarot deck. Where you pull out a card and you say, okay, this is going to represent my character. So whatever your character is, based off of this card, is going to be a character that deals with uh, seven in numerology. If anyone knows any numerology, you're way ahead of me there. <laughs> I don't, I don't and know that one. <laughs> here's, right? I, I don't know. Numerology, anything to do with numbers is just very foreign to me. Can't wrap my head around it what they're super into, and then what is stopping them from achieving their goals. Oh. You can create storylines that way, too. Like, oh, let's let's get a problem. Let's get how my party meets this. Oh, a king of cups. Okay, so somebody's... You can... Whatever you want, you can come up with different draw three cards and assign the meaning basically i love that but one of these days i want to separate the major arcana from the minor and pull so the major arcana is the cards like justice or the chariot that don't have a specific suit the rest of the cards all have the pentacles the cups they are more um Spaces. Here's a major arcana card. Spaces on life's <gasps> journey. The devil is a dog. Oh my god, of course it is on this deck. Of course it is. <laughs> yes. This is one of my favorites. Oh my god. The devil is a dog. How cute. So you know, just doing <gasps> poor <that>. lunar. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, oh, lunar. Oh, oh. <laughs> Kendra, I don't know if dog. you know, but um, but lunar is definitely uh more of a dog person. She's definitely like a wolf girl. If you if you go to her stream and I, see yeah. like her stuff, it's like it's like wolves mm-hmm. everywhere. It's awesome. Yes, that uh, it's okay. I have a a big giant dog. Mm-hmm. Um, I I understand the love of dogs. <laughs> my my big big. Oh, labs don't get bigger than 75 pounds. Lies. My Lies big, and slander. Yeah, oh, my goodness. <laughs> He's 120 pounds and not overweight. Oh, my God. <laughs> just Giant like, lab. He's so big. He's so <laughs> big. <laughs> He's a good boy. Yeah. my does not look like this dog. No, my my dog that you can see that you can see in the in the scrolling video that's over on the side oh. here. Um, she Hi, is a she's Annie. a corgi mix, and uh, and she's like thirty ish pounds. Um, we've never lived somewhere where we had like enough space to really have like a big dog, you know. Yeah. Um, oh, there we go. Cats coming to hang out uh, on top of yeah. what you're doing. <laughs> uh-huh. This is Annie. She's the rescue cat. Oh, hey, Annie. Your the tail's very that... cute. <laughs> yes. She's the one that we rescued when Baby. her mom uh, rejected her as an infant. Oh, that's sad. She's so sad. Yeah. Using it. Little orphan Annie. Oh, oh that's such a cute that name. name. <laughs> Just... <gasps> Throwing that one out there. So cute. <laughs> right. Um, one one thing that I wanted to say, going back to the character creation, like I think that's so cool because one of the hardest parts for a lot of people when it comes to like writing and role playing and things like that is that initial idea generation. Like what do you, like oh, what do you do when you're stuck? Man. 
you know, when you're stuck for, yes. for like an idea. Um, so that's a really good like activity that you could that you could do to kind of get things started. One of my favorite things to do when like D and D groups that I'm in are on hiatus mm -hmm. is to say like, okay, what tarot card is this character? Mm. Um, so let's just say like, okay, here's a character: the sun. Um, uh, boom, 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 upright, perfect optimism. So Marie or. <laughs> if you hold this character creation yes marie or the opposite of murphy which is creativity possibility and power can be hmm. used to wound and destroy so mm. i feel like this is lulu yeah probably <laughs> lucius on one end marie on the other he's too creative he's too creative and what true. he does yes in yeah. one card depending on how it's how it's set i love it <laughs> you know, too bad Na fine. too bad naomi is definitely asleep right now and so um she has no idea but we'll have to tell her to watch the the vod of this <laughs> she can see it'll be such a fun surprise <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> all right are we ready to do the third and final spread the third and final spread. Okay, so we have a really fun one for the, the last one here. Um, hide this, hide this. And we're going to do a unicorn spread. So I yes. love, like, I mean, y'all see, like, my lights back here in my aesthetic. It's I love, unicorn. like, rainbows, unicorns, glitter, like, all that girly stuff that is so me. So, of course, when Kendra saw this and we were talking about like what spreads she wanted to do this was like choice number one she's like we have to do this yes. I was like I agree we have, we to, have do to do this one so <laughs> it's it's just so nice and mm -hmm. cute mm -hmm. and happy like, I'm not a big fan me personally of trying to say like oh when am I gonna find the, my one true love or oh boo -hoo, I'm so sad because somebody hurt me and mm -hmm. I want the cards to fix it mm-hmm uh, which is a valid way of processing your emotions. I don't think that would be very fun for a stream. Um, and it's I think it not... might be fun if you've got somebody that's a little bit more dramatic. I think I'm just not dramatic enough to make that fun. No, no, you're not. <laughs> I think We've I think my problem my problems are very um my problems are very mundane and normal, and I like it that way. Like I'm not complaining. <laughs> okay, like I'm not complaining. You've got to be in character. <laughs> that's as, right, like, Abby. Or something. There we that. go. There we go. We could do it. We could do like a, a a spread for for Abby, and I'll like I'll I'll be Abby as well as I can. You know, face acting yes. as opposed to writing. I don't know if I can even do that, but <laughs> it's fine. I'll I'll get you started. I'll be D and D Shahari. It'll be fine. Okay, sure. Yeah, I mean they would be, be friends. Like, yeah. Oh, Shahari thinks everybody is her friend. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> D and D Shahari is not nearly as a uh, gentle. I know you're not you're not in the current role play, but um, but Abby's closest friend Oof. in the, in the current role play is a character that kind of has um ha has has a little bit of a, a split personality, um oh. that yeah so so she's got I mean it's a supernatural role play so it's not like you know there's there's things go other things going on that's that's caused this or whatever but anyways, um so she yeah. has like the very the very nice side the very cool like chill like fun cute side that's very much like oh. you know marie or shahari those types of characters and then she's got like the dark yeah. violent side right um but oh, uh so but abby's friends with like the, the the light bright side and that's like her friend so of course you know you know abby goes very well with that type yes i i don't think anybody needs to hear shahari voice so <laughs> for that long we're good oh, you're not gosh. you're if you're not in uh, that campaign you don't need to worry about it you don't have to deal with okay so what we're going to do is we're going to dress up go knock on their door try to sell them a vacuum and this person's going to hide in the vacuum and then once we're in there they'll jump out and surprise and then we can murder them it'll be <gasps> great kendra you're adorable i love you thank you <laughs> i love you too <laughs> oh that was so good uh, but that yes, was so it's... good oh yes <laughs> That was like an actual possible plan that almost happened in a sewer. I know. I, it I mean, it sounds D &D. like an appropriate D&D &D plan. I bet it would yeah. work. D&D. &D. Mm hmm Yep. Yeah, it was great. Great D&D. &D. Okay. Now, 
So I have been shuffling and going and thinking about you and your magicalness. Okay. I'm also but thinking again, about my magicalness. Yes. Tell me when to stop. Okay, stop. Okie dokie. Woohoo. Oh, somebody just walked in. Oh, yeah. Hey, it's okay, Lunar. You'll hear my dog in like two <laughs> seconds. <laughs> oh, I hear him. He have a, is it a girl so dog or a boy happy. dog? Is it he or boy she? Dog. Boy dog. Okay, it, so it I hear him. He. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's a big boy. I think it's uh, Schwann's night, so he knows. Oh. He knows he's getting treats. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yes. Annie? <laughs> oh, <Okay>. <laughs> Lunar. <laughs> he dragged me up. <laughs> yes. I'll... Bjorn's a good boy. I'll post some uh, pictures of him in the Discord. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> okay, magic and Four. magic and rainbows and all kinds of unicorn Five stuff. And six. Goodness gracious. Okay, so one. Why you're magical is the page of wands. Okay. Here is the reason why you're magical. And re remind me, remind me, wands again. They're they're fire or they're air. Wands are fire. Fire. Okay, got it. Yes. Um, and the art on this card is self-explanatory. I love this it. This is why you're magical. I love mm -hmm. it. Yep. <laughs> Just, <laughs> that's it. Don't need to go into any depth. Uh, why you're rare is going to be a knight of cups. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. Uh, oh, the Empress. <gasps> oh my god, put that one on the camera. It looks so cute. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Uh, oh, I love you her. you heal others. Oh, she's, she's so amazing. cute. Look at her tiara. I know. What tames you? Treats. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'll talk about that when we get to it. <laughs> Yeah, right? Mm. Like, that makes sense. <laughs> mm -hmm. How you transform is the magician. Ooh. That makes sense, actually. And then temperance shows up again. The source of your power. Okay. Interesting. I got a lot of major arcanas on this one, I feel like. You did. I'm very, like, wow, this is a lot. Yeah. And it's not even, like, any numbers. It's all, uh, like... It's all, like... Named. Yeah. Cards. Yeah, well, that's interesting. Or, not cops, but... yeah. It's... It'll be a good one. Good one. Okay, why you're magical. Page of Wands. Beep, beep, beep. That's the nine. We don't want that. I, wands don't come up a lot in my readings. Oh, okay. So I'm super excited. I'm like, oh, hey. For whatever reason, nobody I read for has a lot of wands going on. Well, I guess I do when it comes to magic. Yes, you do. You're, you are just magical. I guess so. <laughs> So you are magical because of your positivity. Oh, that's true. Yes, it is. Yeah. The positivity and excitement that you help bring to other people. Magical rainbows and Taylor Swift. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> yes. I think it's so funny. I think it's so funny that that, that that came up when like the last spread that we did was tell it was basically saying like, I need to be more assertive and, and not let things go so easily you know, instead of mm -hmm. trying to be so positive. So um, I think that's really interesting. I, you can be <laughs> assertive and positive at the same time. You can. You can. It's it's a little harder, but you can. It's harder, but again, with temperance, balance. Yeah. Looking at that, reevaluating that. Okay. So, you know, just you spread positivity. You bring happiness to people. I try to. It's a magical to. thing, this channel. I do try to. That is that is that is definitely a goal yes. here. Lunar. Yes. Find the balance. Mm. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Mm hmm I'm right there. I'm all about the balance. Mm-hmm. Always. Mm-hmm. Cool <laughs> rip. Okay. Knight of Cups. Not reversed. It's interesting to me that the only reversed card that you have in the spread is a pentacles. Mm-hmm. That's that's interesting. Okay, why you're rare? Deep, 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 deep. You are rare because you are good at looking at yourself and at your emotions and examining them. 
oh, that's without true. letting them completely control you. Mm-hmm. But you do not block them out either. No, definitely not. Um, people get surprised. Like I'll talk about this from a zodiac perspective. People get surprised when they learn that my sun sign is Cancer because they that's very emotional, <laughs> very emotional sign, yes. right? Like um, this the crybabies, uh-huh. right? And they don't think of me that way. But um, but uh, the truth is, I I just don't want you to see it. <laughs> yeah. But um, but I but I am I am quite <laughs> yeah. I am quite emotional um when it comes down to it and and i don't know how some people like push their emotions away and and ignore them i it does not compute i don't know how that happens um you know Uh, you know (laughs) i i don't understand either Mm -hmm. but i you have a talent for being very aware Mm. of what is happening emotionally i like what this spread's saying i'm i'm here for this one this one isn't uncomfortable like like the other one (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> you're not in a performance review mm-hmm. it's great mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, i mean two sides of the same coin right yeah okay now how you heal others this is one of just my favorite parts of this spread is because it's so nice and uplifting yeah both just like as oh hey here's what's really cool about you but then here's what's cool about you as it comes to other people because mm-hmm. everybody wants to help. Everybody wants to, you know, be the hero. Yeah. Their own story. You want to know that you mattered, right? That you mattered to yes. somebody. Okay. Now you heal others by bringing them happiness and peace and plenty. You embody just the joyfulness that people like to be around the happiness and just the like in control uh i think this comes back to my dog really really likes my (laughs) father-in-law and he wants him to go throw the ball for him right now hey puppy what's happening (laughs) this is upstairs oh my gosh level of the house yes (laughs) Um, loud puppy (laughs) he's a big boy um I think this goes back to uh, why all of your friends are the kids that talked to the teachers. Oh, my God. We had that conversation just recently. <laughs> yeah. And I, I found out I'm the I teacher. I think this is what that goes back to. <laughs> yeah, you are the teacher. I think that's what this goes back to is just you got that nice. Everything is like, okay, and here's how we're going to make things work. And here is how we can make this happy for everybody. And we can all bring joy. We can all just be chill. We're all here to have fun. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And that is how you heal others. Or heal the RPC. <laughs> we could even say. <laughs> I mean, my goal isn't necessarily to, to heal the whole roleplay community, right? But, um, but well, I, do think, I do think we could, that our community could um, do with a little bit more of, uh, of, you know, remembering that at the end of the day, we're just, we're just here to hang out and play pretend. I mean, I say that in my videos all the time. And, um, right. and I do think that that's, that's really important. Like we, we get wrapped up in certain things that we feel are like super important, but at the end of the day, like that's, that's not what it's about. Exactly. We're just here to have a good time. Yeah. It's a hobby. It's something we do for fun yeah. to enjoy ourselves. Yeah. And you are kind of the embodiment of that. Thank you. I try to be. I really do. Like, that's the goal, right? So thank you, Cards, for agreeing with me. Yes. um, Agreeing and validating. Yes. I feel very validated right now. Very validated. This spread is great for validating people. (laughs) I feel it. One of the reasons I love it. I feel it so much. So now what tames you, what kind of tethers you, is planning and teaching. Which feels, I mean, it, it feels right mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. for at least this context. Yeah, and no, and I think that's very real. I mean, I, I've shared this a couple of times, but I don't know if I've actually said it on, on a video or on a stream or anything. I know I've said it in my Discord, but um, I started this channel when I got laid off from a previous job, right? And um, and if you've been laid off before or or something like that, you know that there you can't spend 40 hours in a week job searching. Like, there's just... There's just not enough to do um, when you're in that mm-hmm. state, you know, 
there, so there was so many extra hours left over after I did everything I could in a day, you know, to try to find a job. And that's how I started this YouTube channel, which is, is so funny. Like, um, I, I, I couldn't work and my profession is, um, a corporate trainer. So I, I teach and I decided that, um, that, uh, what I needed to do was to start a hobby where I taught people. <laughs> it's perfect. So, you know, um, it's true. It's true. And, uh, and even though, of course, now I'm gainfully employed and there's no problems in that regard, uh, you know, I, I, I've kept it up because I really enjoy it that much. You know, I don't, I, I enjoy it so much that I'll do it for 40 hours a week and then spend, you know, 10 to 12 additional hours a week doing more teaching. <laughs> you know, it's, it's a different type of teaching. Though. Oh, yeah. You also don't have the, um, shoes, the shoes. No, the smees. Yeah, there's no smees. It's just me. It's just me. I, right. I, I get to Sitting make every decision. Like, oh, shooey. <laughs> Almost. The smees. Shoey. Subject matter experts. Me. Yeah, the subject matter experts. <laughs> no, shoey. there's none of those. I am the subject matter expert. And it's not that I don't like ask questions. Like I definitely have times and there's several people that are probably listening right now or um, or will watch the VOD that know I've reached out to them because I had a question on this, that or the other thing. Um, but uh, but I don't have to. I, I can make them all by myself, you know, and I do a lot of times. There's a fly. Okay, go away. Yeah. Oh, man, you've got the flies too. Mm. Mm-hmm. Uh, we, we just had a frost, so you'd think they'd be done, but we still have them. Like, yeah, ow. no, we, we had some cold ow. days. We had some cold days too, so you'd think they'd be done, but it got warm a couple days ago again, and they came all back. Oh. Yeah. That's <laughs> awful. Yeah. Okay, it's time to get the dirty taste of flies out of our mouth with how you transform. Your magical okay. girl transformation starts mm. by, I would do a drum roll, but that would shake everything. And I'm not doing that. Can you hear <laughs> this one? Transformation starts. Yes. <laughs> it starts with the magician, which is the card that embodies creativity, mm. straddling both the creative world and the real practical world. Mm. Very true. You're yeah. a creative person. Yeah. I don't know. How, and, and, bum, I, bum, bum, bum. and, you know, I'm, I'm a creative person to the extent, like something I said on the last stream, the last interstage window stream with Landon is that I believe everyone is inherently creative. And, um, mm-hmm. and I know a lot of people don't believe that about themselves. Like they think there's like creative people and then not very creative people. Um, but I don't even know. I don't even know what it would feel like for somebody that if somebody thinks they're not very creative, like, what does that even feel like? Like, I don't even know. Um, and so like in my mind, Dad. I just don't even think that exists. Right. <laughs> um, now I'm probably yeah. I, like, I made that statement and I'm probably wrong, <laughs> but you're very uh, confident in your creativity. Yes. You are a master of it, which is what the magician card represents is that mastery of the creative force. I would say that for certain specific things, that is true. I'm, I'm very, very good at world building for, for role plays. I've done it many, many times. Very good at that. Um, and, um, and I'm getting, I'm getting better at some other things though. Like I'm getting better at my video editing. I want to become like more masterful at that. Um, you know, and role playing for forever. So I'm very easy. Creating characters is very easy for me. You know, I can definitely think of a lot of creative endeavors that are, that are simple for me. And, and also uh, several creative endeavors that I'm working on to try to get even better. There are so many ways to be creative. Mm Mm-hmm. It's everybody has their own thing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But I, I do agree with you. I think that everybody is creative. It just might not be the way in which they're thinking creativity happens. Yeah, maybe not. I think that's a big difference. And it's like, I don't think that I'm artistic, but some people would argue that uh, acting is artistic. Mm-hmm. And I like to think that I'm good at that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, Whether you have a lot of skills. Or not debatable. You have skills but, in that regard. I mean, based on what, what I know I, about you, I know we're only online friends, <laughs> so I have not, like, seen you act in something. But based on what I do know about you, I think oh. that's true. Yeah, if I can ever find the video of the Renaissance Fair pillow fight, I will be oh sure to gosh. send it to you. That's, that uh-huh. sounds magical. <laughs> yeah, oh, it was. It was amazing. Oh, my gosh. Mm-hmm. Bad English accent. Naomi would love it. Oh yes. <gasps> it's bad. Just bad. <laughs> now we are wrapping this up with the source of your power. 
Okay. Being your ability to go with the flow, mm. to be patient, and to keep your head on regardless of everything going on. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Your ability to find that balance in your life. Mm. It is a hard thing to find in some cases, like in that uh, work review. Mm. But it was actually mm-hmm. a good. Re- it was a good review. It's just that you know, there's always something that they want you to work on. You know what I mean? Well, there's so always just to something. Make it clear. But <laughs> there's your balance. Mm-hmm. It was like, hey, 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 it is okay. And I would now say this that's, one is. It's that's why you're magical. I would, uh, yeah, I like that, and I, I would say that's true. And I think that even relates to like everything that's going on right now with the world, because when all of that, when everything changed, and we all of a sudden all had to go into quarantine, like. Everything changed, but um, but I very yes. much, um, I very much believe that uh, that there there is a way to get through it, and um, you know, it sucks that our that our leaders are doing what they're doing and have done what they've done, but um, but right. I still think we can do everything that 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 we can, you know, to try to make it better for yes. for us. Oh yes, mm-hmm. and it just your ability to keep your head on in situations where there's a lot going on is uh, the source of your magic your powerful unicorn magic i'm so glad we ended on this spread this was um this one's lovely this one's lovely it's just so sweet it is if you do this um, it's so sweet i know that when we talked about when we were kind of talking about like doing this landon was like oh do one for me um if you do one for her y'all should record it because i would love to see like what she gets on uh on hers yes. for this spread it's because it's just so this was so nice like it, it feels so nice so and validating sweet. so sweet and wholesome until the deck decides to be sassy this is the spread <laughs> that was hey you're powerful because you've got a lot of emotional trauma <laughs> that happened to somebody i was like oh my gosh that happened to somebody <gasps> a friend of mine Ooh. As I was doing the reading for them, they were like, oh, this is cool. Do this for me. I was like, that's great. I would love to. Let's do it. Yeah. And then that I... happened. I was like, oh, my God. I'm so sorry. I don't think they anyone said, no, wants to hear. that tracks. <laughs> oh, that gosh. tracks. Yep. That makes sense. <laughs> well, if they were okay with it. Okay. If they were okay with it, that's fine. They were They were like, yes, that is exactly it. I don't know but... that I'd necessarily want to hear that my magic comes from... Um, my traumas that I've had. So, you know, I'm glad they were okay with it. I don't know. I don't know if I'd want to hear that. (laughs) I'm glad that the deck was just like, okay, we're going to be a little chill now after that performance review (laughs) of a haunted house. (laughs) (laughs) No, it was good though. It was good though. And I'm glad we did a spooky one since it's October. You know what I mean? Yes. I mean, you have to do a little spooky, silly one. Yeah. (laughs) As if a pet one and a unicorn one is silly. (laughs) No, but these are good. These are good. Um, Is there any... Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I think we had some, we had like some kind of like, uh, we had a nice, nice variety in those, in those three spreads. Yeah. Yeah. Is there anything else um, tarot related that you wanted to kind of share with us or, or talk about? Um, before uh, I kind of jump to the I next topic, think of, uh, you jump to that next topic. I do think I need to go and see if my toddler is inside the cat tree. Yes, <laughs> because um, she likes to be a cat too. Mm. Uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, if we're not being Jack Skellington or Oogie Boogie, then we're going to be a cat. I understand. Or- a superhero or a princess yeah. or a spider or yeah. <laughs> I can't keep up. I love her creativity though. She's great. She's wild. <laughs> uh, let me see. There was, oh man, I just had it out. I thought, oh, I was going to say, oh, hey, look at the fool guys. It's a really cute card. Oh yeah. If you can and find the I fool can't... so we can look at it. Ah, here we go. Yes. Um, the fool is one of my favorites cards in any deck oh my gosh just because it's all about the beginnings so cute and that nice hopeful optimism yeah we all want to be the fool sometimes right yes Mm -hmm. you gotta make a fool you gotta just be okay with being silly yeah it's adorable and cute and this deck is 
illustrated by Megan Lynn Cott. Okay. So if anybody so really everybody. likes the art on here, um, look her up. Yeah, it's gorgeous. And it's just, if you Google cat tarot, you should be able to find it. Mm-hmm. But it's just, it's very sweet. Well, I really, very really, cute. really enjoyed this. And, um, and I love that deck. It's awesome. It's so sweet. It's <laughs> just the sweetest. Yeah. Especially death. A dog. <laughs> that uh, the, I, or that no, one was No, sorry. Favorite. Death is the vacuum. No, death and then the, vacuum. the devil is the dog. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Which I love that. I always That's get awesome. those two confused. <laughs> that is it's awesome. Just, it's, that death is a vacuum. Of is course wild. it is. Of course it I, is. Because why wouldn't it be? Well, it's, yeah. it's a cat deck. Duh. <laughs> So yeah, that's that is all I have for you. Oh, thank you so uh, much. Thank you for letting me read your cards. Of course. Um and practice on you. And we're gonna yeah, anytime. I mean if you have other spreads that you that you wanna do, um I don't know if we'll stream we would stream it, but um but I'm more than open to having doing like practice sessions with these or things like that. Um oh, awesome. totally cool with that. Um, okay, so so everybody say <laughs> goodbye to Kendra because we're gonna we're gonna get rid of her camera. Um, if you want to stay on on the voice, yeah. you're welcome to. If you don't want to, you have to go. You're welcome to to go and or you know or go and come back. Whatever you want to do is to fine. To but I'm gonna get rid of the camera. Go go go. Okay, but yes, get rid of my camera. You're awesome. I hope y'all have a good night. Day time zones are awful. <laughs> I mean, love you. Bye. Karen from the future here. I screwed up when I was streaming this and didn't have a microphone <laughs> during this part. So there's about 10 minutes of silence. So I'm recording this the next morning to fill in what I was saying. Uh, the first thing that I wanted to say is I reached affiliate. I know that y'all saw that last Saturday, but if you don't watch that particular stream, you wouldn't have seen it. So I want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much to all of my followers that helped me get to that 50 follower goal so that I do have affiliate. And thank you so much to the first two subscribers that I got, um, Snow and Lunar. Y'all are amazing. Y'all are awesome. I did not expect that. Um, the other thing is that you'll notice there is no webcam right now. You're still just seeing the nyas and the borks. That's because um, I had my webcam going through Discord and, and Windows doesn't let you go through two softwares at the same time. So I can't get OBS to show my camera as well as Discord. So what I was doing here was just showing you guys a couple of the features that are turned on now that I have affiliate. Uh, this first one here is called Channel Points, which you do not have to um, purchase or anything like that. You just get them by hanging out in the chat and participating in the stream and attending the stream and stuff like that. Um, the other thing is I redid all of my graphics. Uh, so you can see the starting soon, ending soon, and be right back. Now have a completely different graphic. This is an image I found on Unsplash. Unsplash is an amazing website. If you're doing any kind of graphic design, you can get all kinds of photos there from artists that offer them for free. Um, it's amazing. I highly recommend it. And then you'll see a lot of these icons and emojis. The way that I got those was Noun Project. Noun Project is another amazing, awesome website. It's not free. There's a subscription there. And then if you want to use the images for commercial purposes, you also have to pay like an additional little fee on top of that. It's not much, though. It's not expensive. So someday I would like to commission an artist to do like some more unique things, but I feel like I don't have enough unlocked for that. So that's that's what I did here. So for the, the channel points, you'll see I renamed them spell reagents, and I think I'm about to click on this so that you see the graphic. Yeah, so a little potion bottle. I thought that was cute. But I did that by downloading that from Noun Project and then coloring it in so that it looked a little bit more unique. And these are what the channel points can do. All that stuff at the bottom is by default turned on by Twitch. So you can do all of those various things. Um, and they're, they're just by default on. If you want to use them, they're just like fun little cool things that you can do in the chat. And then um, the stuff at the top is ones that were like optional. And I turned those on because I thought those ones were nice, right? Like posture check and hydrate. I just thought, I thought that was cute if y'all wanted to do that uh, for me. And then for the name generator, I thought that would be cool while I'm doing interstage window because I'm playing Viva Pinata. And, uh, and you can name the pinatas in that. So if y'all are interested in naming some of the pinatas while I'm playing, you're more than welcome to use the channel points for the name generator and I'll name a pinata whatever the hell y'all tell me you want it named. 
I guess I had more to say on this. I don't remember what else I said on this page before I went to the next one. <laughs> this was last night. Oh, okay. I'm moving on now, I think. Okay. Yeah, so then the next thing I show is all of the different affiliate settings. So these unlocked for me. There's a whole bunch of stuff that you can do here. First off, you've got the subscriptions, right? There's three tiers of subscriptions. And I gave them names that hopefully give you flashbacks to uh, being in 90s and early 2000s role play chat rooms, right? You got the hooded figure in the corner of the tavern. You got the uh, ninja in the rafters. And you got the cat girl in the tree. Doesn't matter what chat room you enter. You're going to see those three things, right? That's how it was. I assume if chatroom RP was still around, that would still be how it is. Then we've also got um, emotes. So if you are a subscriber, you get unique emotes. And I have made them match the, <laughs> the names of the subscriptions. And I did this just like I did the channel points graphic where I got that off of Noun Project and then colored it in. And then um, I unlock more emotes as I get more like quote unquote subscriber points. And what those are is every time someone subscribes, I get points. Even if you unsubscribe, like those points don't go away. So um, I, I hopefully will unlock a few more before I get to a point of commissioning someone. But subscribing is not like a, you don't have to do that. So don't feel pressure to do that. It's not necessary. Um, and the next thing I think I show is the loyalty badges. So I'm just waiting for myself to click on that. <laughs> uh, go ahead and click on it, Karen. I don't know what I was saying here. I don't, I don't remember at all. I should have just clicked on loyalty badges. I was probably talking to Lunar because she said she was going to go get foods. I probably talked about pizza. Um, so these are the loyalty badges, keeping with the same role play theme. They're dragons. And um, as you go up, the dragon changes color. So that's what I thought was like a good little one that I could do that kind of fits my aesthetic since I use the EverQuest sound, since I'm about role play. And then if you do the tears, you, your dragon gets little sparkles. So that's, uh, that's how that works with the loyalty badges, and that's how long you stay subscribed. And then there's a whole bunch of other settings down here that, that I can do. Um, I don't foresee myself ever using um, subscriber only chats or slow modes or anything like that, but I did say that subscribers sh should ignore slow mode. Um, the other thing that I made sure to turn on is ad free viewing. So since I have affiliate, my understanding is that uh, you're you're gonna get ads when you join the stream, like you're gonna get a pre-roll ad before the stream actually loads for you. But if you're a subscriber, you're not. So that's my understanding of how that works. Um, I, don't, I don't know exactly. The other thing is, um, my understanding is also that if you link up your Twitch account to your Amazon Prime account, like if you have an Amazon Prime subscription, you should link those up because you get a free ability to go subscribe to somebody. So if you have Amazon Prime, please link your Twitch and your Amazon Prime and, um, and you can do a free subscription to anybody that you want. And then those are just some additional affiliate settings that, uh, that they gave me, but, um, but I, didn't, I didn't really fiddle with those too, too much at this point. Um, so I think that's most of what I said. Again, thank you. Thank you to you guys for getting me to affiliate. It happened really fast. Streaming is something I knew I should have done for a while, but it took me a while to pull the trigger on it. So I really appreciate you guys doing that. Oh, and Twitch gives you goals, right? So the next goal is trying to get partner. But to get partner, we have to have 75 viewers on average, which I just feel like that's going to take a long time to get to that if we ever even get to that. So I'm not really super worried about the next goal. I really just at this point would like to, you know, grow having followers on here and um, and continue to have interesting, fun, cool conversations with you guys. So that's the next goal that it gives you. So you can see like it gives you achievements here. That's how I got motivated to try to get affiliate because I saw that really all I needed was to stream twice a week and to have 50 followers and then it would all work out. But three times a week. 75 concurrent viewers, that seems like a lot to me, a lot more than what we have going on right now. So I'm just not too concerned about it. <clears throat> and as soon the sound is going to come back, I think, because I think Lunar notices it when she comes back from her food, that my mic is not working. So I think this is all I had to say here. We move on to the Pokemon meme in just a minute. And then I did the first Pokemon and then the mic came back. So then you'll get back to present. Karen. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. Like I, I'm, I, even though I just got affiliate, I'm still such a noob at streaming. Um, and it was just an honest mistake that my microphone was not set up properly for when I switched out of doing the discord cameras and into just back to my regular desktop, like I would do. 
Um, cause I've did some fiddling to make sure that my webcam wouldn't be a weird black circle. Yeah, here we go. We're going to go do the Pokemon meme now. And, um, I moved the camera over to the side because the Pokemon that we're going to do are over on the, the right side. And, um, just like we typically do with this meme, I am going to show some Pokemon that you, you get, you know, a little bit more of a, of a choice on. So we're going to kind of ramp up the available choices as we go through doing this meme. And I think there's like five Pokemon that we do today. Um, and it's only the first one that my mic is still cut out and then Mike comes back for the second one. And we're going to do some dragon types. So that's for today. It's some dragon types and then a couple others. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> so let's see, I think I mark dragon and then I should mark like gen four, I think, if I remember right. I think I'm double checking that here. <laughs> what gen it is for the one that I'm going to mark first. Yeah, I must be. Yeah, and then Gen 4. And then I'm going to set it to do the National Dex. But I have to remember how to do that. There we go. And then search. Yeah, so the choices here is basically the Gibble line. So Gibble, Gabite, and Garchomp. And you, as you know, I go based on uh, aesthetics. So for this one, of course, Gibble is the most aesthetic. So you'll see in a second I'll reveal that, um, that my favorite Pokemon for this particular slot is going to be Gibble. Yeah, there we go. And then I, I'm going to pull over the thing and we're going to read his dex entry. Yeah. Oh, I was already there. And then I scrolled down because I didn't realize I was already there. <laughs> and I'm going to scroll back up like an idiot. There we go. Yeah. See his cute face. Okay. So it nests in small horizontal holes in caves. It pounces to catch prey that stray too close. It once lived in the tropics. To avoid the cold, it lives in caves warmed by geothermal heat. So its Pokedex entries are basically saying it lives in volcanoes. So that's really cool and cute. And I, I love that about him. So he's a little, he's a little dragon guy that lives in volcanoes. Um, I guess I had more to say on him because I'm still talking in the live one that didn't, where the microphone didn't get recorded. <laughs> yeah. So Gibble, so Gibble. <clears throat> It's going to be any minute now that Lunar lets me know that my mic's not working and I turn it back on. So in just like a few more seconds, yeah, there she goes. She lets me know and I'm like, oh shit. And I go fiddle with it. So in just a minute, we're going to go back to live, Karen. I can, I'm looking at the recording so I can see that my vocals are about to come back on. And I spend a minute going, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? <laughs> Yeah, and there we go, in just a second. Okay, thank you guys so much for bearing with me with this. Lunar, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now, chat? You should be able to. I can see the microphone sound, so I'm really sorry if it's not coming through. Hopefully it'll come through on the VOD. Um, so for this one, we're doing Fairy type and Gen 4, and we're going to hit search. And our only choices are Mr. Mime and Togekiss. Okay, well, so what y'all missed, I don't know if the VOD will record it or not, but what y'all missed is I added Gibble, right? So we're, this is Gibble um, right here. That's the, the Gen 4 dragon type that is my favorite. So when it comes to the fairy type for Gen 4, we've got either Mime Jr. or Togekiss. And um, I'm not a huge fan of Mr. Mime. I, I, I'm not about it. It's not cool. Um, too bad Kendra had to log off because I, I think she actually really loves Mime Jr. So she probably would have had a different opinion here. But um, yeah, Togekiss then is my choice for this one. So let's show him. There we go, Togekiss. And then... Let's read his entries. It will never appear where there is strife. Its sightings have become rare recently. It shares many blessings with people who respect one another's rights and avoid needless strife. As everyone knows, it visits peaceful regions, bringing them gifts of kindness and sweet blessings. This is very sweet, very much like um, the unicorn spread that we did today. So, uh, so that it matched kind of with that, like it matched a little bit. <laughs> so that's my favorite of this particular one. Our only choices are Mr. Mime, though, or Togekiss, but I, I do like Togekiss kind of. Um, he's pretty good. And then we're going to do another fairy type. So this is going to be the fairy type for, 
let's see, for Gen 5, so I'll show you all the choices here. So the choices are really just Cottony or Whimsicott because we're not doing the Megas, right? So just Cottony or Whimsicott. I prefer um, Whimsicott's uh, design to Cottony. I usually prefer the lower down evolutions, but for this one, I actually prefer Whimsicott. So that is the one that we're going to take a look at. All right, Whimsicott, there he is all big. Like the wind, it can slip through any gap, no matter how small. It leaves balls of white fluff behind. Riding whirlwinds, they appear. These Pokemon sneak through gaps into houses and cause all sorts of mischief. <sighs> they appear along with whirlwinds. They pull pranks such as moving furniture and leaving balls of cotton in homes. So they pull very sweet pranks, very sweet, innocent little pranks. Um, so I think, they're very, I think they're very cute. Like I love how fluffy, I love how fluffy Whimsicott is. All right, so those are two of the fairy ones. Now, we're, the next two are dragon ones, and it's kind of related, okay? It's kind of related. The way that we're going to do this, um, we have for, I'm going to look at Gen 1. So I have to admit, even though dragon types are, like, super popular in regard to Pokemon, I am not actually super into dragon types. So with that being said, my the the dragon types is either Dratini, Dragonair, or Dragonite, right? For Gen One, my favorite dragon in Pokemon is actually Dragonair. I think Dragonair's design is so cool, and to this day, it is still my favorite dragon type. It's been my favorite dragon type since forever, and that has never changed. I've never seen a dragon type design that I liked more than Dragonair. So let's look at oh spoilers. We're gonna do Dratini next. Let's look at Dragonair. So his Pokedex entry, a mystical Pokemon that exudes a gentle aura, has the ability to change climate conditions. According to witness, yeah, according to a witness, its body was surrounded by a strange aura that gave it a mythical look. So this is the Dragonair entry. And then since we're doing Dragonair for my fave, that means that we have either um, Dragonite or Dratini to pick from for my Gen, Gen 1 pick. So we're going to go with Dratini, right? I think Dragonite and um, his design compared to Dratini and Dragonair, like I have to admit, I'm not about it. I'm not about it. Like I feel like he's so cute and, and pretty and then he gets like kind of dorky looking. <laughs> um, I feel so bad saying that because he was like the one and only like big dragon type in Gen 1, but like it's true. Okay, sorry. It's just the truth. All right, let's look at his entry. Long considered a mythical Pokemon until recently when a small colony was found living underwater. The existence of this mystical Pokemon was only recently confirmed by a fisherman who caught one. So super rare, right? So they were super rare Pokemon. Um, so that is my favorite for Gen 1. All right. So those are the, the Pokemon for the meme that we are going to talk about today. We will do more next time, of course. As we kind of go through this, you'll see that each one we start to get more and more choices as we go. So it starts to actually become like a more meaningful choice. A lot of these so far, it's been like, you know, there was really only two or three to pick from or those first ones that we did where there was no choice at all, right? So we'll do some more next time that have a, a little bit more even choice in the matter. And uh, and we'll kind of go up from there. But we we covered the first favorite one, right? My favorite dragon type is um, is Dragonair right there. So So that was fun. All right. Okay, so normally I would switch to webcam only now, but of course, because my webcam is connected to Discord, it's not connected up to the stream. I can't do that. So just enjoy looking at Pokemon and the, the dog and, and the kitty cat um, and the kitty cats for a second while we kind of do the ending. So as a reminder, um, if you are watching and you have not followed me yet, if you want to follow here on Twitch, you can follow down below. Um, I would love to have you. Uh, there's no crazy algorithm on Twitch, so you don't have to worry about like, uh, like you do on YouTube, where if you subscribe, you need to make sure that you're watching the videos. Otherwise, the subscription doesn't doesn't help. But uh, it's not that's not the case on Twitch. Every single follow helps on Twitch. So if you're interested, please do that. Um, you can also you can find me twice a week on Twitch here on Thursdays where we do this artistic license stream, which is variety. It's whatever the hell I want. So, you know, perfect place to do something crazy like a tarot reading. And then on Saturdays at noon Eastern, we do Interstage Window, which is um, a chat with uh, some of my friends. It's usually Landon. Um, if she can't show up, Naomi is like the backup there. And then we also have lots and lots of guests 
on that stream that we'll come in and talk uh, about various topics. So, um, so if you're interested, then please follow for those two. And um, in addition to that, you can find me on Twitter, which um, I apologize to all my Twitter followers. Twitter was down today, so I couldn't tweet anything about the stream being late or the stream starting or anything like that. So that's really frustrating, but hopefully by now it's back up. Um, but my Twitter is it's Karen Terry. You can find that down below. And then also you can find me on YouTube every Wednesday at 2 p.m. for Spare Room. And Spare Room is my, uh, my, my show that's more like scripted, discrete content about like a particular role play topic or problem or advice or things like that. So those are all the places you can find me. Um, all of the stuff is down below in my about, all the links to all the things. And, uh, and that's it. That's all. That's the stream today. Thank you guys so much for coming out. It was super fun. Um, I, I really enjoyed this one. Uh, you know, getting doing a tarot reading is something I've always wanted to do. So um, I know Kendra's not here anymore. But thank you, Kendra, for, for doing that for me. I really, really enjoyed it. And, um, and that's it. All right. Thank you guys so much. And, uh, and I will see you again on Saturday for Interstage Window. All right. Bye.